<laughs> it needs a little warm up there. I hate it. I, it. I don't have hot flashes. My libido's pretty good. This is the um because <sighs> the get up and go gets up and oh goes. I've tried and tried. I exercise every day. I I mean I don't I'm not actively my husband and I don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, like I've said, could walk in here right now and I just go like, oh well, you know, I'm hungry or I didn't realize that hormones played such a big factor. The hormone balancing will literally reverse the aging clock. It's just crazy. It restores yeah. your cells. Right. It, I didn't think you know, that. and I, I mean, I'm not the doctor here, but well, we need a doctor. Yeah. Need to go. And here's what I want everybody at home watching, and you guys, trust your gut. If you go to a doctor and your labs are normal and you feel this bad, mm -hmm. yeah, go to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Still, ever since August, get up every morning at five, do an hour of that the Zumba workout, and then that wasn't doing anything, so then I added weights to that, and then I went, oh, I better um, change it up with Jillian Michaels. And then you are just, have nothing. I want to be the worst because I, that was one of my fears. I thought, no. what if I come into you and right. you say, You're normal. Well, yeah. all your, your hormone levels are perfectly fine. I, I really was afraid, then I would think, where, where do I go from right. there? Mm -hmm. So I'll do, you know, months of this, and then I, that's it. I'm not pushing myself en enough. I'm so watching what I eat. Yeah, days no. week. Are you five days five a week at least. Great. I can tell you, you have like basically no testosterone. You have no progesterone. So the progesterone, <laughs> <laughs> she's like excited. It's like, give her a star. You're and fighting an uphill battle. You, you have the yeah. classic menopause symptoms. Yes. You're screwed up and you're happy. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, she does not look her age. And I actually had you 10 years less. <laughs> oh, you are my new best friend. <laughs> yeah, but I do, do synthetic hormones. And, I, and I'm interested in exploring. It doesn't matter what it is if it works for you, though. I don't care what's in it. You actually, same thing, low testosterone. Your B12 was a little low. And B12 is really related a lot to hormone, OK? And so you want to get your B12 level up, because that is part of energy. It, it, and your body uses B12 to metabolize hormones. You know, with uh, what you're doing, I want to explore that. The body, yeah, the only pellets. because my issue is fatigue. Like, I wake up in the morning and plan when my nap is going to be in the right. afternoon. Usually, doctors, especially giving synthetics, ignore testosterone. It's never covered by any insurance, whereas synthetic estrogen may is and progesterone, but testosterone is not recognized in women. And so, I've taken and, the trochees, wow. which is and the bioidentical. And here's the problem with, 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 with that kind of hormone is you're getting it in, it's absorbing, you know, under the tongue, into your system, and you're getting this effect, you know. Your testosterone, it's not, it's like you're not even taking any. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. My husband will love to hear yeah. that. So he will love the pellets. It's, and again, those of you who are already exercising and eating right, it's just going to work that much better, that much quicker. So definitely the estrogen and testosterone combo pellet, and then um, you know do the progesterone at night. And then Karen, she's just perfect. See, no, just kidding. No. Well, no, I went to the regular GP, and they wanted to put me on synthetic horse. And, I, and when I found out it was horse oh, so fish. Low libido, the dry skin, low concentration, and then the vaginal dry does that fun stuff, right? So you were brave to admit it. <laughs> they all have it, they just didn't admit it. <laughs> For you, a little estrogen, but I would say I would do the progesterone at night, help you sleep, help the mood. Um, very big, you guys have heard of postpartum depression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huge, because of low progesterone, okay? So you've had a long history of like low mood, so I would bet you've had low progesterone a long time. So Stephanie, all right, so basically with you again, you know, weight, you know, which you talked about earlier, you mentioned the wrinkles, which we've not talked about, but good you brought that up because wrinkles are, I mean, what woman does not worry about wrinkles? And your estrogen is, is also low. Uh, you have the family history of breast cancer, you know, so you do want to be careful. I mean, estrogen again is not bad, but we always are careful about that. Basically, estrogen can turn into a good compound or a bad compound. The good compound is anti-cancer. The bad compound is more promoting cancer. So when you take I3C as a supplement, or DIM, D-I-M, I'm not going to spell out the chemical name, or eat those vegetables that I talked about, basically those supplements took those vegetables, compounded, put them into a capsule or a pill. When you take those, you're going to reduce your chance of breast cancer. I don't want to wait anymore. I do everything that I've done. Well, time is bad. Time is, yeah. 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 One more time. And we I have luck. Yeah. That's we my have... biggest regret, not just 
doing it now, so I'm with you. I'm I'm ready. Well, that's what they say. That's what they say. The older you get, it's you don't regret the things that you did. You tend to regret the things you didn't exactly. When we've been struggling with the unexplainable symptoms of menopause, it's a huge relief to learn why we feel so bad and that we're not going crazy. While the menopausal years can wreak havoc on our lives, the good news is we don't have to take it. Understanding our options is the first step. But hormone therapies can be controversial and confusing. So trust your instincts and find the right doctor. As crazy as it may sound, menopause could be the best time of your life.